In today's episode of Pilocraft Season 4, my footwear becomes more elegant. Oh, and uh, I also, like, actually decorate the inside of the house. So yeah, hello humans, I'm the alien doctor, but you can call me alien. And before we get on to that, I've got to go collect a present. Because inside of my donkey, I have got four diamonds and 11 iron ingots. And inside my mule, I have got another four diamonds and another 11 iron ingots. And this was actually left for me from Goldie, who is, of course, another Pinecraft content creator and another member of Team 2. So a huge thanks to Goldie. And I'm going to deposit these into my personal chest, which is actually where I'm keeping all of the sort of things. This is like the only chest I own to myself. Everything else I have put into the community storage. Also, don't question why I have a netherite pickaxe. Um, you'll see more about it in the next episode. <laughs> Basically, I'm doing a lot of non chronological recording at the start of the season because different things are happening such as what you're about to see that I sort of have to plan around and I don't want to fit next episode into this episode so that's why this is actually part of next episode it, it's complicated yeah I'm sorry but anyway enough waffling I want to show you a little bit of a meeting that I had with Toad that may explain why my shoes look like this so alien you're a person of style right yes style did somebody say style oh yeah oh yo, i'm still yep style mm -hmm. that's what i'm saying look at that that bow tie do you know what look good with that bow tie what a pair of crocs <laughs> <laughs> that was so unexpected oh my gosh we got the lightning mcqueens <laughs> this is great <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So I need these. Uh, so they are kind of pricey, and I understand if you can't pay, but I do have a deal for you to um, lower the price, maybe. But the standard price is 15 diamonds for a pair of white Crocs, 25 for any customization you can think of, like lightning and queen. Now my business is already 47 lot. diamonds up in the first like half day of it being up. We've already gotten three different people buy Crocs, including Flaws, Lightning, the Queens, and. Here's the thing, okay? I know you know you know how to make stuff in Minecraft. I do not. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I know in the past you have made a pack that removes the helmet. Now the biggest thing, the biggest marketing thing I have against my Crocs is no one can wear their boots. Now if you can make it so boots can be invisible and make a pack for that for only for me that I can give to my customers, it will increase my money so much. And I can, I'll give you a free pair of Crocs of your choice. Any Ooh. customization. If you okay. can do this for me. Okay? Yes. I can, I, I yes, yes. I, I had other pa payment ideas in mind, but I am fine with this. Uh, Let's go. We, we, we don't need to hear my other ideas. Well, how about some alien themed Crocs? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so, okay. I guess they'd mm. be like blue and then with yellow on them. Ooh. Uh, okay. Is that a late? What? <laughs> How did that's it manage even, that? That's not even my alley. I just accidentally took the bread out of its hand, and uh, then I tried to replace it, like you just did. Well, yeah. that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, but um, okay. If you want um alien themed Crocs, yes, that would please. probably cost. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That that could be the payment for the pack. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you ever want our pair of Crocs, like standard white, I can I can give you a half off discount since you helped me out. Yay! Well, I have another idea. I feel like getting you know I've got to get my exclusive alien Crocs. Mhm. Mm but I feel like I should also get some some common people Crocs. <laughs> uh huh. Although I don't have any diamonds, so I have an idea. I've just got to look through this incredibly sorted storage. Okay. What about an IOU? Just for anything. Yeah, you can surprise me with the other ones, actually. Yes, that's a good mm. idea. Wait, wait, so you want a white pair of Crocs and an alien pair of Crocs? Well, yeah, a alien pair of Crocs and just a surprise ones. You can, you can <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> you sure you want a surprise? Mm, <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe, as long okay. as it's not offensive. Yes, sure. No, it won't be. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay, sounds good. Nice doing business with you. Yes, yeah, good doing business with you. <laughs> now, normally, I don't make packs for people. Okay, that's the lie. I actually make packs all the time when people request them. But normally, I don't accept payment for it. 
But you know, today was of course an exception. So we have Aliens Boot Hider. I've not put this up for public download, but if you guys want it, then um, let me know in the comment section and I'll put it on the website. And what it does, pretty simple, is hide boots. And now if we hop back into the world, you can see that I have no boots, but I also have no crocs. Now Toad has fulfilled one of my two orders. Now the alien theme crocs have actually arrived into my DMs, so let's try them out now. And this isn't going to be on my bandit skin, it's going to be on my main skin. So we are going to have to switch back to the lab coat for a little bit to show these crocs off. And back on the Pinecraft server with the skin applied. I, and I'm now wearing Crocs. Just just look at the, the elegance on my feet right there. The transformation of my shoes. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> okay, zooming in doesn't really work. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. I'm going to keep wearing them. They kind of <laughs> look skin. like a JPEG now that... Wait, I it. can see. I knew there'd be something. <laughs> I can see the smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. Yeah, they're good. Wait, can I see them? <laughs> Look at them! Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> now I can walk on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cool. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Meet <laughs> Mini Alien. <laughs> Why now did you do that? So it's the it's an Ewok oh, skin, Ewok. or you can use a Yoda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then just to play ahead. And then this one's also kind of scary. <laughs> oh, I saw that with the Perry head on Fraggy's yeah. drink. And one last thing that I should probably catch you up with is in here. The bunker of the floor and the roof has changed. Skull did the roof and I kind of changed the floor. I mean, Skull did the floor, but then I changed it again to add back in the tiles. But it also has this like walkway around, which I personally think looks quite nice. But anyway, he might change it again. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter too much. Also, yes, I can't move this armor stand because the pack is currently broken. So I want to focus on this house or more specifically the inside because we are really, really lacking, um, well, anything on the inside, to be completely honest. So I think it would be a good idea for us to add an interior. You can see here, I have already added a floor, which I think is a good start, but we need to get, well, the rest of it. We could have like at least two floors. I'm probably going to go for three though. So after a little bit of time in the creative testing world, I have come up with a rough idea of how I want to decorate this place and we're going to need more mud or mud bricks specifically, of which collectively, Team 2 has none of. So we're going to need to go back to the mangrove swamp in order to collect some more mud and probably some more mangrove planks as well or mangrove wood. Now conveniently since last time we have actually opened the nether of course which means I could just take the nether there instead but I would need a lot of obsidian so I've got to go and get myself some lava buckets. And there we go we now have plenty of lava buckets in order to create some obsidian. So after another trip to the nether, we now have enough obsidian to create two nether portals. One on the way there, and then if portal linking is super weird, we just have one for the way back as well, which is always a good thing to have. I have also got lots of spare shovels and axes, so all I've got to go now is to the nether, where we can of course dig ourselves a tunnel to the mangrove swamp. Well, I've been stood here for about five minutes now, maybe even 10, honestly, and the pickaxe is just over halfway repaired. So I think this will be okay. So it is time to get digging in the nether. And somehow, literally just behind here, I have found another piece of ancient debris. So, yay. <laughs> So hopefully you saw a montage or something of me collecting lots and lots of mud. And this is what I've ended up with, which of course we can then turn into mud bricks. So I forget, do we, I think we craft this packed mud. Oh, we need wheat. Jeez, I completely forgot how to do this. Luckily, we seem to have a decent amount of wheat and more upstairs in the wheat field, to be fair. So we should be good for packed mud. And then I think we put this into here. No, we also just craft it. Oh, jeez. Well, that... Okay, actually, you know what? That's not lossy. I thought this was going to be like super lossy, but it's actually pretty good. Awesome. Well, hopefully this will be enough mud. Admittedly, it is only an interior, so I probably went a bit overboard. So now it's time to finally decorate my house. So after not too long at all, we now have two rooms that are kind of decorated and extremely dark 
it RTX, so I'm going to turn it off. So this is, of course, the downstairs, and I do need to move these things from the middle, actually, but they are there. And then if we go upstairs, we just have an incredibly basic room with some feds and a bed. Yeah, basically... <laughs> I haven't done a lot of interior design, really. All I've really done is just filled in the walls. I just, I really, really, really haven't done much else, to be completely honest. However, I kind of want to leave that up to you because, right, here's the thing. I have no idea what to put in here when most of the time I will spend in the bunker. This is more so I can say I have a house. I don't know what to put in here because I don't need chests of items. I don't need my own crafting table or a stone cutter. Like, basically everything that ends up in there is decorative. So I have no idea what to put in there. So, if you guys have any ideas, then let me know in the comment section down below or in my Discord. But otherwise, I think I may just leave it as it is for now. Unless one of the other members feels like decorating it for me. As you can see, Bedrock Edition works perfectly. It is an entirely perfectly coded game with no texture glitches whatsoever. Also, yes, I, oh my goodness, I have deactivated RTX. I'm, I'm pressing the button to turn it on and it's not turning on. So I don't have the pack enabled or anything like that. So this isn't the RTX pack. I haven't changed any of my resource packs, in fact. And we're just having weird texture glitches. And ooh, Wondering Trader. And if you're wondering, there is a natural reason that I keep trying to get all these mini blocks trades. It's because I do have actual plans for what to do with them. Even if I am technically putting them into the team's chests, which we don't need to talk about. Also, I forgot to get his head. Well, I have technically already recorded the outro, but Padape just asked me to VC, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Hello. I was just um, talking about how your skin is kind of makes no sense because you oh, have a you have wow. a scarf over your mouth, but you don't have a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one eye. Anyway, hello. Hello. Oh, where did my horse go? Oh, okay, he's here. He runs off. <laughs> you every... seem to have bad luck with like any pet. Just just any pet. And the, the, the checkerboard floor. Yes, yeah. oh, I was waiting building. for you to notice it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it just for you. Oh, alien! Just the pain this brings me is <laughs> unmatched. I don't, I don't know what what you're thinking when you made the, the colors too. Like. They're, they're, oh my. Hey, I asked Skull about these colors, to be fair. He, he wasn't, I don't think he was very responsive though, so you know. <laughs> he didn't reply and you're like, that must mean he said yes. Great. <laughs> have you seen our tree, Alien? The tree's amazing. I right? have, so... but not properly, to be fair. Haven't, what does that mean? I saw it now, from a distance. Like a oh, I will, you know what? Let's, let's go take a trip to the tree. Oh yeah, we could I'll take our horse a, as well. Yeah, we can use the brand new, the brand new horse, <laughs> horse. And now we arrive here at my house. Actually, one of my favorite builds I ever made. Uh, yeah, I really actually. like it. Pretty nice. Mangrove roof right, as well. We can Both got mangrove here. roofs. Is this, is this where you stand and, and read, read a poem to the world? This is where I spy on Riri when he's, I don't know, <laughs> doing Riri things in his house. He doesn't like it, but just don't, don't tell him about it. It's fine. All right, well, here's the tree and it's all of its glory. Oh, I didn't even know like the amethyst bit. I've only seen it from like a distance. Yeah, there's this lots of cool. details. We got the moss, some lichen. My alley's up there. Yeah, that's my alley, Henry. <laughs> Although I, I can't help but notice you've been, you've been tasked with building the iron farm. Have I? Why would they think I that? Why would they put me? I, uh... I'm like the worst person for this job. I just, no. I think it's too late for that now, though. But <laughs> Someone build iron farm. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the other things I wanted to mention is that I, of course, have used a lot of tiles in this build or the tile pattern, which is intentional because Penape and Skull definitely 100% like it when I use tiles and definitely don't tell me that I should try other patterns. And I also already have an idea for what I want to do in the, like, loft bit, but that's going to come later because, honestly, I don't even know if I need it right now. And for me... <laughs> The event is so close to ending that there's not much point in like finishing another room that I'm never going to use the house. Does that make sense? Because honestly, I'm never going to use the house. I'm just sort of trying to wrap it up at this point, to be completely honest. But speaking of wrapping things up, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. And thanks to my supporters. Make sure to check out the video on screen. Bye.